All right, uh, CJB NE reviews here, and uh, I'm going to be record or uh, reviewing the Griffin Technology Navigate inline controller and FM radio for the iPhone and iPod. Hey, you can see it right here, a standard uh, iPod dot connector, and this is the Navigate right here. Pretty uh, pretty uh, small device here. I'll kind of go over it. Here's the back. So you got a griffin on the back. On the end here, you've got a plug to uh, plug in your favorite headphones. On the top, I have a little slide lock and unlock switch to uh, lock out the keys. Then on the front, you have a total of six buttons. A play and pause button, a volume up and volume down, next track and previous track, and then a multifunction mode button. All right, let's plug it in. Uh, like I said, it's got a standard dock connector. You plug it in. Once the display pops up, it says Griffin, and then it shows me my uh, artist name and the song. And uh, it's got a little icon there you probably can't see. It shows that it's paused. I hit play. It starts playing it. I also have uh, volume controls. There's the volume up and down. It's got its own little display showing what the volume level is. And... Uh, I can go to the next track, or I can go to the previous track. And then this multifunction mode button, what that does is allows me to make some uh, some changes either in EQ settings, or I can select a different album or a different playlist here. So if I push it once, there's my album selection, and then I can select a playlist, I can shuffle mode, or I can select my EQ settings. And then it goes back to the uh, current song that I was playing. All right, so let's take a look at the, uh, the FM radio features here. If I push and hold the mode button, it automatically switches to FM radio mode. And uh, here I can select up to uh, four different presets to store in it, or I can just go through uh, the radio stations. Right now it's on uh, one of my presets, and it receives RDS information, so it goes ahead and uh, displays what the radio station is actually broadcasting in RDS um, using the uh, the previous and next buttons here I can go up and down on my stations. If I want to cycle through my presets I can hit the play button and that takes me through the four presets. If I, uh, if I find a station I like and I want to store it into my presets if you push the mode button it pulls up a list of the presets and you select the appropriate button and it loads it there into the presets. So now when I cycle through my four presets I can go back to that station I just uh, just loaded in there. Um, it's a pretty good unit. Uh, works really well. Um, the thing I like is it gives me kind of a remote capability. So I'll uh, throw my iPod into my coat pocket and this allows me to have this kind of hanging out of my coat and uh, not only uh, play and pause the music but adjust the volume, select a track and select the playlist or select a completely different album. Um, it's got uh, probably about three feet of cable on it here um, between the iPod and the actual Navigate. Um, so it also works as a really good extension. Now if I want to switch back from FM radio back to uh, the iPod music, just push and hold the mode button and I'm right back there with my, uh, my album and my song. And uh, if I want, I can turn the whole thing off by pushing and holding the play button. And it goes ahead and it not only turns off this unit, but it also turned off the iPod here. Let's, uh, we'll do that again for you here. So. One thing I have noticed with this is that uh, because it has the display and it's getting all the information from the iPod, um, there is a difference in the battery drain between using standard headphones and using the Navigate. Um, so it's one thing you might want to consider if you're going to be using the Navigate for a long time. But uh, like I said, it's an excellent device to give you uh, extra control um, or remote control over your iPod if, uh, if you've got it in your backpack or you've got it in a coat pocket somewhere uh, out of the way. Uh, definitely uh, two thumbs up for this.